hello respected teachers and our e tutor sir i hope you all are doing well in this time of pandemic the name of our project is iot based anti poaching alarm system for the trees in forest using wireless sensor network myself ankit devnath and along with me my group member vishal dev and himanshu choudhury completed our project work under the supervision of professor kandarpa kumar sharma so here is the list of the outlines or we can say the contents of our ppt that is the presentation so they are number 1 introduction number 2 motivation number 3 literature review number 4 methodology number 5 problem formulation number 6 generic block diagram number 7 hardware components number 8 work done in phase 1 number 9 work done in phase 2 number 10 conclusion 11 future work and 12 references first of all let's start with the introduction poaching is not related to india only nowadays we can see everywhere that poaching has become a big issue it is not only a problem in india every country is struggling with this issue many costly trees are smuggled every now and then which are very valuable and useful so we have come up with an idea to develop a system which can be used to restrict their illegal activities then comes the motivation behind our project the main motive of this project is to develop an anti smuggling system that would be useful to protect the forest trees and all the forest areas and along with the forest it is also helpful to save the lives that reside in the forest sneaking of the trees such as sandal red sandal teak etc are major national concern so to avoid smuggling and to spare the woodlands around the world we have come up with an idea that designs a system which is prepared to prevent the forest from the fire accidents so next comes the literature review we have got some ideas and objectives and what they contributed to this project work that's around in the year 2007 named narmisha prasad his objective of the paper was this paper helped us to prevent improved forest fire recognition through the real time processing using the land surface temperature satellite imagery his, contri- his contribution to this paper was to this project was the objective of this real time processing of satellite images is to observe the abnormal rise in the temperature distribution for the identification of forest fires then again in the year 2009 n vasiyakov the author this author designed to implement the forest fire early recognized system based on the image analysis algorithm he described the principle of development of some forest image analysis algorithms proposed for implementation in forest fire early detection systems then comes the methodology the method that we used to prepare the, uh, to deploy our project to construct the project the method we used is the first of all our system will consist of two modules one involving the sensor module and the control uh, and controller module which will be at the tree spot and the other one is the android phone that will that will give us the notification or the results online with the help of wifi module the blink application will continuously receive sensor data in this process the sensor data is continuously uploaded to blink that is the um, server uh, which we call the cloud server over a wifi module so in case of a tilt and the buzzer turns on that is when the um, tilt sensor will send the data high that is the tilt is detected if the sensor is tilted the buzzer will tell us that and the buzzer will immediately turn on and we can get a notification in the mobile also that a tree has been cut or it has or a fall has been detected and the second one is the flame sensor if the flame sensor senses any kind of 
forest fires or any kind of any type of fire then it will immediately send a notification in the mobile phone and also along with that it will turn the output device that is the water pump immediately with the help of a relay switch next comes the problem formulation that is the problem we have found uh, by studying various uh, various journals and all and other online researches for which we are preparing this project is that currently there is no system or any medium to detect illegal logging and cutting of trees there is no means by which the forest officials can know what's happening with trees should be installed we should install such a system by which the forest officials can know whatever whatever is happening in the forest or wherever at any part of the forest whatever is happening they can know that by sitting in just one place or in the controller room or anywhere in the part of the forest with the help of their android phone such system should help in detecting and alerting so that proper actions could be taken putting this problem in mind we are designing this system which will help us to achieve our goal that is to protect the nature so this is the generic block diagram containing all the sensors and equipments of our project so this is the general block diagram of our project it consists of uh, a node mcu or arduino that is the um, development board any development board like arduino or node mcu along with that we are using three sensors that is flame sensor tilt sensor and sound sensor so flame sensor is for detecting fires in the forest uh, tilt sensor is for detecting the cut cut of a tree uh, if any smug smuggler is arriving in the forest and cutting the tree for smuggling for that we are using the tilt sensor which can detect the tilting of the tree and the sound sensor is also used for illegal logging only because while axing a tree or using any kind of machine or anything to cut a tree there will uh, be a sound that will be produced a sound will be obviously produced in that time for which we are using sound sensor which can detect the sound also and it can give an accurate result so these two sensors are specially for illegal logging and the flame sensor is for um, for detecting forest fires so <laughs> each uh, sensor will um, run the output device each sensor has a um, specified output device so in this we have used the buzzer as the output device so whenever there will be a fire the buzzer will turn on and whenever there will be tilt or whenever any smuggling or illegal activity is being occurred the relay switch will help the buzzer to activate and this system is being um, powered by a 5 volt power in our project in the prototype we are powering it within 5 volt um, input and another part is that the IoT part which is that the IoT part will contain one Android phone in the Android phone will install an app called Blink app in that Blink app every data whatever the sensor is sending to the board will be received in that app and it will show us as an output in that app and we need to make the interface in such a way so that we can easily understand whether the flame sensor is giving us the output or the tilt sensor is giving us the output so for this we need a Wi-Fi module to connect the development board with the blink app that is the android phone so this is the flowchart of our system our system works in this pattern that is at first we have powered the system so it has started after starting the it will read the data from the sensors whatever is the data either high low whatever is the data it will read from the sensors then it will go for the next step that is the condition for tilt so if it receives any tilting or uh, if the data uh, shows that it has been tilted then obviously after that uh, um, output device will run and if there is no tilt then it will send the data to the cloud through Wi-Fi module then from Wi-Fi module it will be received by the blink server and then the blink server will check the status and if it is a no or yes whatever it is after that it will get stopped so condition for tilt then if yes 
then run output device if no then it will directly send uh, data to the blink server and we will get the messages it is normal or whatever um, output message we are using that we will get in the mobile app only after that that system will stop again it will repeat it will repeat continuously that is in a real time monitoring system so here comes the hardware components that we are using so first of all we are using a development board as arduino uno then we are using a zsp266 as the wi-fi module then we are using tilt sensor which senses the tilting of an object then we are using sound sensor which senses nearby loud sounds next is flame sensor for detection of forest fires relay switch which turns on the output devices then the water pump which is the output device for the flame sensor when there will be any fire in the forest the output um, device uh, as output device the water pump will automatically turn on then the buzzer which is the output device for the tilt sensor which will buzz when there is any illegal activity occurring in the forest next comes about what work we have done so the work that we have done are we have executed all the sensors we have executed the algorithm for the respective sensors then we have tested all the sensors debugging of sensors and output devices we have tested the sensors single in a single manner one by one whether they are showing accurate results or not whether she and they are um, capable to show results in any kind of environment or not whether they are working in all the conditions or not so we have tested that everything one by one in a great manner so here at first we have tested the tilt sensor it is we have connected a tilt sensor so here is the photograph of the tilt sensor being connected with the arduino board and the code has been uploaded into the board and after that we have got the output in the serial monitor that is if we are tilting the device whenever we are tilting the device it shows till detected and whenever uh, the device that is the sensor is in its normal upright position it shows the output as normal then comes the connection of the sound sensor so here the connection of the sound sensor and its output is, output is simple so in the um, sound sensor module board there is a um, output led that is whenever um, after the connection of the sensor whenever it will detect a sound the led in the board will automatically detect for better understanding i have also used an extra led with it so in the first picture we can see that the led is off and in the second picture when it has detected the sound the led turned on so this is the uh, step of the sound sensor which is very simple it don't need any kind of uh, extra output in the serial monitor it don't give any output in the serial monitor it just shows uh, the led is turned on and turned off it directly gives the output in this way next is we have connected all the um, all the sensors simultaneously so after the connection of all the sensors together we have uh, run the code we have uh, uploaded the code we have run the device so after that we have and got favorable uh, results and whatever results we are uh, we are getting when we are um, testing them one by one so the same results and accurate results and in the similar way we have got the perfect results when we are we have run the sensor simultaneously so this is the photograph of the um, system of the connection that we have connected all the sensors simultaneously and together all the sensors are working in perfect way so all the work we have done till now is the hardware part and the control that is the controller and the sensor part so now comes the iot part of our project which includes esp266 wi-fi module and the android app so for this we need to work with the blink app for continuous data monitoring and implementation of codes for running all the sensors simultaneously so after that we have connected all the sensors now together again and 
we have connected the blink cap that is uh, not the blink cap actually the mobile phone with the uh, hotspot the with the wi-fi module that is the wi-fi module we are using in this project is esp266 so we have connected that wi-fi module with our uh, android device in which the blink cap is installed so this is the entire connection of the system in the first photo we can see um, in the first picture it is not that clear but in the second picture we can see that there is a ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and then there is the Arduino development board and then the three sensors together that is the um, that is the sound sensor the flame sensor and the tilt sensor so all the sensors are being connected the relay switch is connected along with the relay switch nearby there is the buzzer the ESP266 mo uh, Wi-Fi module the development board that is the Arduino Uno so all the connections are done and they are connected all together so after running the code after uh, uploading the code uh, what uh, the connection that i have shown in the previous slide after uploading the code in that development board the output that we have received for different sensors are that so here we can see that the results and the declaration we have started whatever results we have received from the device are pasted here so the first picture shows the um, output of the tilt sensor and fire sensor separately in the first um, picture we can see that it has uh, it is the output of the tilt sensor it is when it has detected tilt it is showing tilt detected and then when the um, sensor is in upright position it shows normal in the second photo in the second picture we can see that Mm, it is the output of the flame sensor that is uh, when there was no fire it has shown normal 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 so when we have lighted a fire on that is uh, for that we have used a candle to um, sense a nearby fire so that it can sense a nearby fire so we have lighted up a candle uh, so when we have lighted the candle it has shown that fire in the forest as soon as we have blown off the fire um, it's shown normal again when it shows when you have uh, again lighted up the candle it shows again fire in the forest so this is how the output serial monitor was working so in the previous slide i have shown in the output of um, both the sensors one by one that is in separate monitor means i have uh, tested them actually i have disconnected one of the sensor and i have tested them uh, single by single in this output uh, in this uh, picture we can see that we have connected all the sensors and after that we have run the device so here we can see that both uh, flame sensor and the tilt sensor are showing results in the same monitor that is when i lighted up the candle it shows fire in the forest and when the device was being tilted it shows tilt detected and when normal it shows normal both the device will show both the sensor will result in normal output and whenever there will be fire the flame sensor will detect it and whenever there is a tilt the tilt, tilt sensor will detect it our serial monitor output works are over so those are the controller part actually so that totally includes with the hardware so now here we start the iot part so in the iot part we see that um, we need to connect first of all the wi-fi module with the android phone so for that uh, we need to uh, start a new project in the blink cap and then we will get a authentication code in our um, email id or whatever mail id we have used in that we will get an authentication code in that so we have to use it in the code in the algorithm and then we have to set a password and the ssid code after that the wi-fi module will get connected with the android phone we can see in this photo in this picture that in the last line it is written that connecting to honor in the third line you can see that connected to the wi-fi so connection has been done after the connection let's see what happens in the next slide so these are the results we have received in the blink cap in the first photo so you can see when there was no tilt of the device when the device was normal it has given a result in the monitor in the 
blink cap LCD rate is normal and when we have tilted the device it immediately shown that fall has been detected we can see when we have tilted the device it shows fall detected and when it was normal it was uh, seen as normal it has shown uh, output as normal so this is the blink cap monitoring of the tilt sensor so in the previous slide we have seen that the um, output was received as in the um, LCD screen that is we have seen the result in the LCD screen also we have made the interface in such a way so that whenever there will be tilting of the sensor we can immediately receive a notification that is a pop-up pop notification a pop-up notification will help us in knowing the um, tilting or uh, knowing the illegal activity happening in the forest immediately as it will make a vibration or any kind of uh, mobile sound while popping up in the screen so this kind of notification is very useful so that a person don't need to continuously watch in the mobile or continuously view the phone all the time he can keep in his pocket or anywhere if he keeps the mobile nearby he can receive a sound or vibration immediately when the notification pop ups uh, in the previous uh, uh, output we have tested the tilt sensor we have seen the outputs of the tilt sensor so now we are here with the output for the flame sensor and the blank cap so in the first picture we can see that it is written normal along with normal the um, previous output of the tilt sensor that is fault detected uh, the rest spelling of the rest uh, alphabets of the detected has appeared in this due to the bugs in the app maybe so it needs to be updated from the um, company itself maybe due to some bugs or error it is showing the previous output along with this so uh, even though we can understand it since it is showing normal so normal means the output is currently normal it is no fire is there and no tilt is there so as soon as in the next picture we can see that the, uh, it is showing fire warning that is as soon as we have lighted up a candle or lighted up any kind of fire nearby in the sensor has detected the fire uh, fire and it has immediately shown in the LCD screen as fire warning so next is the notification part of the flame sensor so as we have shown um, the output of the tilt sensor in this way the notification part of the tilt sensor so in the same way we also can receive and the notification for the flame sensor also whenever there will be a fire in the forest it will immediately send a notification along with a vibration or any mobile sound if uh, his uh, his or her phone is being uh, kept in general general profile only then if he is keeping his phone in silent then there is no way to understand the notification so they need to keep the phone in general in position uh, so so that they can receive the not uh, they will obviously receive the notification but they will not feel any kind of vibration or sound so to feel that they need to keep the uh, phone in general profile so they can easily um, understand whenever there is a fire in the forest there will be pop, pop up notification system in the blink cap in the way it is shown in the picture we can easily see that whenever the fire has been detected it is already shown that fire in the forest next is here we have shared two pictures uh, uh, it is shown that uh, someone or anybody do not need to keep the blink app open all the time we just need to be connected with the Wi-Fi and a notification or the message will show at any time so this means that uh, we do not need to keep the blink app open all the time we just need to connect we just need to keep connected with the Wi-Fi um, of the system uh, to know every status of the forest and everything so we can see in the notification panel that in the first notification panel, in the first picture we can see that there is a um, notification regarding anti poaching the name of our project we have kept it anti poaching in the blink app so it has even a name as anti poaching and alert is fault detected alert fault detected that is it has detected a fault so we don't uh, um, fault in the system so we don't need to keep the app open all the time it can directly send a notification in the notification panel only without uh, keeping the phone with the blink cap open even we lock the device and keep it in the pocket we can receive this kind of notification in the second picture we can see that both 
uh, till sensor and the flame sensor is sending notification that is the first notification shows fall detected and the second notification shows fire in the forest so this is a good way that uh, we can receive notification in any way in any situation so now next comes in the um, blink cap output of the respective sensor simultaneously so we have seen that the blink caps output is working very good in the serial monitor previously in in a previous slide we have seen that the output in the serial monitor simultaneously of the all all the sensors are working in a good way so now we need to check whether it is also working in the um, blink cap or not so in this uh, uh, slide number 26 we have shown two pictures side by side uh, so in the first picture we can see so we have uh, shown two pictures which are uh, taken two different times so in the both the time they have shown favorable results and the results we expected only so whenever we have tilted um, the device and also along with that we have uh, fired up a candle so it's shown it, uh, it is showing results of the both the sensor together it is showing that fault detected and along with that also it is showing fire warning means uh, there was a fire nearby and also we have tilted the device so it has shown the um, results both together in a correct way as soon as fire was detected it shown that fire warning and tilt was detected it showed tilt detected so we have taken two snaps we have added here two snaps so that we can we have, uh, we have taken more snaps uh, we have uh, tested it a lot more not only two times but in the ppt we have added only two for uh, for better understanding that yeah it is showing a correct result uh, but while doing the testing we have tested it for more for more and more times so that we can confirm whether the sensors are giving accurate results or not At last we have added a screen recording of our uh, of our blink cap how it works so when we are when we are continuously tilting uh, tilting the device and firing a candle so how fast uh, the blink cap works and how fast it sends the notification so we have recorded that in a, uh, as a screen recording and we have added that video clip in this uh, ppt so you can check it how the blink cap works so now comes the conclusion regarding our project so this project presents design development and prototype of wireless sensor network for forest monitoring this proposed system comprises of two models namely the sensors and the controller module and the android phone here we showed a deployment of multi sensors to cover the forest area in addition to alerting of forest officials during forest fire accidents and testing uh, and monitoring of trees this system may also be implemented in wildlife sanctuaries and zoos next is the future work of our um, project now what is the future of this project is that um, in future um, we can upgrade it in a good way uh, so better system can be used for that we can use a gps module that can be used for exact location of the trees where the illegal activities are being occurring or where the fire has caught so this can help us to catch the exact location so after that we can introduce new sensor for more accurate prediction to improve the system in future we suggest that new wireless technology can be applied also we can use an innovative computer vision technology as we can as we know that artificial intelligence is emerging as a global uh, immersive technology and which will improve the system capability to detect the poachers position in real time so 
it will help the um, officials to catch the poachers in real time location so lastly new sensors with improved capacity and robustness can be applied to the system so this is our gun chart and this is the overview of our project what works we have completed at what period of time so in between august 2019 to october 2019 we have completed uh, we have researched and completed a literature review then from november 2019 to december 2019 we have find out the problems what problems were formulated uh, and we have uh, written and we have adjusted all the problems and we have placed them in a correct manner and then from december only from december 2019 to january 2020 we have studied the hardware components and how to code how to make them work so we were studying about that then from february to may we have decided or we have planned how to uh, make the tree module how to make the forest module how to prepare it how to prepare the module and how to place the sensors where to place and in what position they should be placed so after that from may to june the final implementation of the entire system has been done so this is the reference these are the reference that we have taken from various journals and various authors and various uh, links in the internet so with this i would like to conclude this presentation thank you